everyone, I'm Fixer and I'm here to scratch my proverbial indie itch where I play short single session indie games like Fugue and Void. So this was developed by Mosh Rank, I hope I didn't butcher that name, and published by CDOC LLC. This is a story of his mind, I suppose. And a PR firm representing the two kindly provided me with a key to do this video. There you go, Fugue and Void. So I've already done one of this uh, guy's games before called The Tower of Tortena. I'll put a link in the description below. And I am I read that this game has like a 10 minute intro. So once I get my intro out of the way, I probably won't talk much during that. This guy, I found him several years ago on Twitter. He, he was posting brutalism links. Uh, and pictures and whatnot, and I'm interested in, in brutalism. I don't know anything about architecture, but I've always been fascinated by brutalism. And then he made a game, and now he's made his second game. So that's why I'm here playing this. Now, I don't know a whole lot about what's going on in this game. As far as Fugue goes, I, I don't think this game is about... Um, and I don't know a lot about music either. It's a, I don't know, if, is it a composition or a form? Whatever. I don't think it's that kind of fugue. I think we're talking about the dissociative type fugue. The one where people kind of snap, right? They they have a, a break and they don't remember anything. Well, I don't want to say anything. They don't remember who they are or who their family is or who their friends are. They, they forget all that. I think they can remember simple things like what's a cheeseburger or what's a car, but they lose who they are. And I think that's what we're looking at in this game. Like I said, 10 minute intro, guys. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I believe the game's about an hour long, but you'll know that when you click on it how long this is going to be. I can't even tell what this is. I thought it was a train track at first, but it's not looking like one now, eh? Are we in the protagonist's mind right now, perhaps? It almost looks like things around a planet. Yeah, we're totally inside someone's head right now. I got gotcha. you. Uh, music's breaking up. Is that intentional? I think it is. This is very dark for me. I'm a little worried how this is going to look on YouTube.
when I loaded up the game, this is made in Unity. And you know how Unity's got the little window that pops up that lets you select the resolution and graphics, you know, good, better, best, fantastic type of thing. There was only one option for, for graphics and it was artsy. That was kind of cute. Oh, right into our face. What's going on? What are these, like, synapses, maybe? No. Memories? Or extraction of memories? And what do we have here? What is that? Looks like a guy walking up a staircase. It is a guy walking up the staircase. Okay. Into a ball. And darkness. Aha. Uh -huh. We're outside somewhere. I still don't have control. It's we're still in the intro. I thought those were trees at first. I don't know. Maybe not. I have no idea what it is. Was that supposed to be some sort of moment of clarity and then we're back into darkness, or am I overthinking it? Probably. Just the ball the guy was walking up into, perhaps? Because that was hanging from some kind of string of light, wasn't it? And this one is, or appears to be, perhaps, as well. Or is the light shooting down onto it? You know what it looks like? It looks a little bit like, um, like an old road that you see in a downtown area, like a side street, after it rained. We got water and something under the water it looks like a ladder is that a ladder or is that supposed to be a bridge okay <gasps> I got I got I can move all right well the walkway changed colors That's where it gets a bright light, uh, white, when I look straight ahead. When I will look down, I, I see uh, a detail, sort of concrete. And concrete is pretty central to the theme or, uh, of, of brutalism, being raw. The 
the sound effect. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like it's something playing in reverse. Oh, did you see that? This was a, an old trick that we used to do in, in FPSs like, like 15 years ago. Uh, you could see further in the corner of the screen. So what we used to do like in a game like America's Army, where there's a fog of war, is um, if you're if you're fighting against somebody down the ways a little bit, you can't quite see them straight on, because you would look for them like this, find out where they're at, and then aim at them blindly. That's not really that's not something that happens in games anymore, but um, early online gaming it happened all the time. All right, so I can run, but it's not a whole lot faster. So we have this isolated building, a wall. Reminds me a little bit of, of, of like Dark City, which is a highly underrated movie. Let's go right. Alright, I was thinking that would open or something. I suppose not. So does left and right just meet up in the same place then, it looks like? Maybe? Them. Yeah, they just meet up in the same spot. Okay. Let's check out this brainstem or whatever it is. Where do I go? Do I jump down? That would be a yes! Okay. I'm okay. Oh, oh. Synapse is firing, maybe? I don't know. Oh my god, my computer is loud. Hope you guys can't hear it. Oh, I thought something weird was going on. They were moving. Is that? Okay. This is a walking simulator. I'm not going to rush through it. I'm going to take my time and see what happens. We just have random hallways that zigzag across, don't particularly lead to anywhere quite yet. Except a staircase. Hello there. Is that, that looks... That that looks like um chess piece. Can't interact with it. 
From that angle it did. Right there. Is it gonna change when I come on this side? It is not. Don't know what else that could be. This reminds me, uh, what was that one game that was very colorful, not colorful, it was just, is it colorful? Oh my god, I don't remember. Uh, Narcissium or something like that? I don't know, but this, this gave me vibes of that, although, like I said, that one was like purple and not this cement color. Let's step on this. Okay. Staircases on the sides. I mean, this is all the same material, right? Look at it. It's all the same. Okay. Guess we're not going that way. But we are going this way. Lots of places to go. Where to first? It's too tall for me. All right, let's go this way first. It's possible they'll lead to the same. Oh, perhaps not. Although I, I like the, the Tower of, of Tortena. Um, I like the, I don't know. I like the setting in this. I like, even though every wall and floor is made of the same thing, I don't know. I love it. I don't know why I like brutalism so much. I can't explain it at all. I probably can't explain it because I know Jack about architecture. I don't know what it is I like about it. Oh, I can jump! I had no idea! Okay. I'm guessing there may be one over here as well. Can I jump up here? No. There we go. So that's three. Hopefully that staircase opened up as well. Yep, see, look at that one's open down there, but hopefully this one over here is open. You know, I, I, I've been thinking in this short time, Maybe one of the reasons why I like brutalism, because it, it seems so alien in a way, right? And, and, and you've actually seen that in, in movies and games where, where alien structures look very raw, right? And I always found that fascinating itself. Maybe there's a connection there as to why I like brutalism so much. I don't know. Um, 
it's that way. Or, yeah, that way. So it almost feels like a man lost in his own head, right? I, I knew it. Hopefully there's no Rancor down here. Oh, I'm okay. Everything's okay. Whatever's going on with that. Wonder if we get to go down there. It's a little annoying. We do get to go down here. Oh, this is going to be trippy. What's that? Just a shadow, I guess. Yeah, I certainly feel like a man lost in his own mind. Imagine how it must feel though, right? To to suddenly have no memories of who you are, what your name is, who your parents are, who your spouse is. I mean, I'm only kind of drawing from the name with that. I don't know if, if that's what we're looking at here, but I think it's right to assume so. Do I just drop down here? Would be a yes. really trippy oh god I wonder if that can't be intentional right that's got to be some um, polygon within a polygon type thing and it's flashing because they're both fighting to be seen I don't know I'm not a game dev what do I know hello light we're very bright I wonder why you can jump in a game like this not that I'm complaining because I'd probably complain if I could not jump
it's like there's lots of nooks and crannies that are are like dead ends right easy to get lost in I thought those were black bars at first. It was just a shadow? Wow. That's freaky. Boy. We have to take these leaps of faith everywhere. Tripped over that. Can't, can't uh, interact with it. Can I go in here? How far, how deep are these? Just a little shallow. See, look at dark nooks and crannies. Places for things to hide, things to get lost. Empty memories, maybe. Maybe that's where his memories were. Oh no, two ways to go. Go here first. Weird. This looks like um an elevator room, right? This is almost feeling like a type of hotel in a way guess we're going higher maybe I should have done the first floor first right I'm almost feeling like I should have to jump that really how deep I can go. <gasps> there's like a a wall. I was wondering if there was like a secret passage back there. I would not be surprised. Oh! Well, hopefully there was nothing interesting on the first floor then. Okay, that was a point of no return, I guess. Hello? myself walking but I don't know what's going on I'm moving my head it's pitch black oh 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 wow wow is that trippy or what guys Jesus Oh, 
Um, I can barely move my head. I can't walk. I can move my head, but I'm like swiping my mouse all the way across my mouse pad. Just to move a tiny bit. Oh. Okay. The hell? I don't know. Hey, we're back into something a little more familiar. Can't walk into the light. I hear a terrifying sound somewhere. I got two uh, doors of light. The shit is going on here. Is that intentional? That looks awfully weird if it's intentional. Let's go down this one. Let's not. Let's say we did. So you can't fall down these things. Or maybe you can only fall down one? That sounds awful in the background, doesn't it? Also, strange thing to note, I am unable to run. I'm going to walk over every one of these just to make sure one isn't open. Oh. I didn't fall, but it went, it went, it faded to black anyway. Okay. Whoa. I guess I'll go this way. See, this has to be synapses, right? This has to be perhaps memories being plucked out as it as he has his break, or maybe their memories coming back. I don't know. Fading though. This is very strange. It's blurry. I can't move. I can only move my head, not my body. Those lights are moving. Very creepy. Hello. So the walls are the old material, but the floor is different. It looks gray, but sounds like sand. Yeah, see, I think it's supposed to be sand. Maybe it's like unmixed concrete what 
Where's that coming from? Also, daylight? Okay, that's opening that door there. Okay, that was very weird. Can I jump over? No. Cannot run. It'd be funny if I was never able to run and it was just an illusion. So we're now in some sort of building in the desert. It's very journey-esque over here, right? So we went through that building on the other side is ocean and on the inside is desert or other side I don't know if it's inside or outside hello what's that oh <laughs> I'm on the ground okay I got you What's going on? I'm glad I looked up. What is that? Also, there's the two weird chess pieces. There you go, I can run now. That's so cool. I want to see what that is. Also, you see all the black speckles? What the hell is that? Is that the same material? I think it is. It looked like a different color from afar, but maybe that's because of the contrast from the sky and the sand. Looks like they're holding the moon or whatever that is. Oh! Perhaps it's a star. What was that? Did you see that? That black streak at the last moment? Why are my footsteps feeling heavier? Alright, I'm gonna assume that's some alien language. Or a language we're not meant to understand. Pardon me. Okay. Oh boy.
Okay. Um, I don't want to get poked. I have to go to the center of that, don't I? I do believe. Those look like coffins. Dead memories. It's such a strange sound. It almost it almost sounds like a, a clock tick that's accelerated. And gears that are just clunking together, right? And there is a little bit of me that feels like it's it's a uh, sound played backwards. Oh, I can move. This reminds me of the um that dream world in Skyrim. What was it called? I don't remember. It was very tentacly. Okay. What's this? You cannot move. It looks very fractal in a way. Anybody out there? Uh, I beg your pardon. Something that resembles something that resembles a life. Was I just logged onto the internet? Oh my god. I have bricks. I'm never going to that website again. Is that the Tower of Tortena, his other game? That's this game there, right? That one looked like the other game. We experienced that, and that, and that. They're probably all this game. The plant. Whoa! Hold on, what's over here? See, I love this. I love this look. I don't know why. With the fog and the long, sleek lines of buildings, with a little bit of light. Can I look into someone's house? No. I go this way? I perhaps can. Is that the end? It is the end. We left our apartment. We're okay for A. Thanks for playing.
I don't know why I enjoy those types of games or walking simulators, what do you wanna, whatever you want to call them. I don't know why. I just do. You get void. So, I don't know. At the end, he leaves his apartment. And I think at that point, everything is okay. So it makes me feel like it's not necessarily what, what we would consider a, a disassociative break or anything, right? Maybe that break is the whatever he was logged into. I have no idea. It is the end, right? What's going on? I was waiting for the credits, but I guess not. Anyways, so this comes out on August 3rd. Check it out. Go ahead and purchase it if you really enjoyed this. Uh, I think devs like this need to be supported so we can keep getting games like this, right? Um, I don't want to knock AAA games or, or, or whatever you want to call high indie, double A, whatever. Um, I think these types of devs need to be supported too. They just, they come up with some really weird games to play and I think that is something worth putting your money towards personally. So thank you guys for watching. Link will be down in the description below and I will see you next time. Bye bye.